Hello there, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to get, give you guys another Tales of Wind video. So finally, an update with my character. I finally hit Viscount. I'm a Viscount now. This is amazing. Okay, how do I fucking check? There we go. So I'm a Viscount 1. I'm almost a Viscount 2, just like 3,000 more BR, and I'm a Viscount three, uh, 2. So goddamn, it's taking so long. I need to level up like one more time so I can um, get more BR. But yeah, I'm, I'm patient, I'm almost there. Maxed out my EXP, I just gotta do that. Um, I wanna talk about today, I wanna talk about Archer. I wanna talk, no, the Ranger class, okay? I wanna talk about what I don't like about it, what I do like about it, and um, how I am pursuing my Ranger class, okay? Um, sometimes I feel like I chose the wrong fucking class. Why, why did I choose to be a ranger class? It's fucking awful sometimes. It is just so bad. <laughs> Especially since every fucking class under the fucking sun has a CC move that stuns you for like 3.5 seconds. So, that's never, that's not, that's never fun being one of like the only classes that can't stun. But, oh well, oh well. We gotta make do, okay? We gotta make do. So other than that, let's talk about the, the pros and cons, okay? So we don't have CC, okay? All we do, we slow enemies. We just slow them down. They can't run away. It makes it easy for our our uh, Berserker, our Ninja, Asira. makes it easy for our um, supporting our allies so they can track our enemies easier, especially since the they're fucking... Usually the Cleric is a fucking pussy and he's always running around the map and shit trying to live because, you know... Um, heals have like infinite range. You can be like across the, f you can be like across the fucking map and still heal everyone to full health. So healers like to run away a lot. So slowing down the healer is uh, with a fairy arrow and whatnot is actually really useful for your allies. So there is that. So the slow is very nice, but it's not a stun. Okay, you just slow people down. So I'm going to reset my shit, and we're gonna talk about this together, okay? We're gonna we're going to allot my skill points together, okay? So let's talk about the the nature's prayer, okay? So I only level this up to five. You wanna know why? Is because this percentage, six percent of their max HP, that does not go up per level. That's fucking awful. The only thing that fucking changes is the twenty one eight hundred, okay? The twenty one hundred eighty. Alright, that's the only thing that changes, and it goes up to um, 8,000 at max level. That's not fucking worth it, especially since the the HP pool is like two, 200k. Like, is that fucking worth it? Seriously, man, it's not worth it. You're better off putting those skill points somewhere else, so just going to level 5 is fine. Now, obviously, you want Song of the Forest for that extra DPS and the heal over time, which is very, very useful. Um, what, I, what I like to do is... Um, when I have these two set up, okay, um, hold up, I'll talk about it in a little bit. So, first, let's talk about the Praise Blossom, Fairy Sanctuary, and Power of Nature. You got one to choose from, okay, so that you could start putting skill points in your preferred um, Ranger class. So, Fairy Sanctuary is really nice, okay? Um, it slows people for six seconds, slows their movement speed. It, it could actually slow them uh, much uh, much more than you think. Um, per level, it slows them down even more. And per, uh, per level, it reflects more damage. But you're a ranger. You want to stay at far distance, okay? The only reason why you'd use Fairy Sanctuary is for uh, emergency situations. Um, but every time you get in a close range, you're going to get fucking stun locked and they're going to kill you. So what the fuck, man? You're never going to get a chance to use Fairy Sanctuary unless you actually plan it in your rotation before battle or something like that. Or you could um, use Fairy Sanctuary and then morph into your uh, transform and then your Fairy Sanctuary will still be active. So there is that. I mean, that's how you could use it one way just for like a little extra DPS and to slow your enemies while you're trying to attack them while in your morph. So I find that um, Fairy Sanctuary works really, really well with uh, with uh, Adventurer Raccoon and um, Ogre Lure, okay? That Fairy Sanctuary works really well. So you do that extra damage, you reflect, and um, you slow them 
while you do like really big damage with your ogre and your adventure raccoon so really depends on what you prefer like if you if you know you're going to transform at the beginning of battle put that fairy sanctuary on transform and just jump in there and just wreak havoc you know what i'm saying but it, it, it really it's really up to you so like um i haven't been doing that i'm trying something else actually uh I'm trying to fucking there you go I'm actually putting it into Praise of Blossom, because what I've noticed is that archers do not have a killing move, okay? I do not classify Fairy Arrow as a killing move, that's more of just like a main uh, DPS uh, kind of move. So I put all that into Smite. This is new, I'm just trying something new, okay guys? I don't know if it's fucking good or not. I'm just trying something new, because that's what I like to do. You try new things, okay? Don't be afraid to try new things. Um. Max out that fairy arrow for sure, and then you want that shit to crit. You want to increase your damage all the way, guys. You want all that DPS, okay? You don't you don't want to be useless out there. You want to be you want to be doing DPS. You want that extra buffs too, that heal over time. All right. Now I can put one point in my ranger normal attack. The only reason why I'm doing that is so that I can put the poison on to trigger the smite so it'll be a great killing move see i whittle them down whittle them down whittle them down with fairy arrow and then after a while i use forbidden land hit hit him with a couple arrows and then use smite all right so like a kind of like a rotation where you start off fairy arrow whittle them down get them low um then use forbidden land and then use praise of blossom or you could just in between like you can just every time your fairy arrow is done like you could have like a rotation like this this is like a, a nice little rotation that i like to do so you would start off with this fairy arrow fairy arrow fairy arrow normal attack boom reset All right, keep the heels up and you reset. Oh fuck, I already fucked up the rotation. <laughs> All right, let's try it again, okay. So, you start off with fairy, no, no, you don't start with fairy arrow, stop it, stop it. So you start off with this fairy arrow, fairy arrow, fairy arrow, boom, normal attack, praise a blossom. And then you reset then you can normal attack heal praise a blossom fairy arrow you reset normal attack boom buffs praise a blossom fairy arrow like you can just keep on going dude heal boom boom fairy arrow and i like that rotation out a lot for ranger because what it does is I always get it like that for some reason. It, it like works so nice. So you do your normal attack, then you do this heal, you get your barrier up, and then this, you heal further with this. See, Enhanced Song of the Force heals all allies within range for 7.5% of their max HP. So like right from the get-go, it's like a small heal. So you're like, heal, get that barrier, heal again, and then when you hit your fairy arrow, your fairy arrow heals all allies within range by 5% of their max HP. So it's just like a straight 5% of their max HP. So I'll be attacking. Oh, oh fucked up my rotation. All right, so I'd go, what was this song? What's the fucking called again? Enhanced Song in the Forest, Fairy Arrow, Normal Attack, Praise of Blossom, Reset. Now if I see them low, I'll do like a normal attack, heal, and then reset the fairy arrow, and then I can set up my Praise of Blossom next. Boom, doom, boom, reset. Now my cooldowns are coming off, I can do like a huge heal right here. One, two, three, and that's that all, it's like a burst heal right there. All those uh, things just heal all of your allies, just like one, two, three. And especially if you have a good tank too, because they have like some really good life stealing moves. So you do that like when they're low, boom, boom, boom. They should be almost max. 
um, which is nice, which is nice, and you have the heal over time too to supplement that. So yeah, that's like kind of the ro rotation that I'm looking into, that I'm going forward, because I noticed that like in player vs enemy, um, you have fairy sanctuary, um, you have to be close, you don't want to be close, you want to stay from a distance, okay? And fairy sanctuary, like, you have to be close to add up, add your DPS, and I feel like it's very risky for ranger to be close range, even uh, in player versus enemy, and even players versus player, you always want to be at a distance, okay? And when you're morphing, you, you want to be aggressive, but towards the end of your morph, you want to run the fuck away where they can't see you, let them forget about you, and then set up your fairy arrow. When you see that they're low health, chase them down, hit them with the forbidden land, and, you know, hit them with the normal attack, and boom, praise of blossom. You gotta chase them, because it's very, very hard to chase with fairy arrow. Like, you'll be, like, running around and shit, like, when you're chasing your enemies and shit, you're like, oh, he's almost dead, he's almost dead, oh my god, he's getting away, I have to chase him, and then you're like, oh, my only other fucking attack is fairy arrow, so I have to stop and start shooting him. Like, it's just really stupid, you know? How are you going to chase with a move where you have to stop and shoot? Like, it's, you can't chase like that, so you gotta, you know, fucking hit him with that normal attack and just fucking boop, like, just, like, hit him like that and, like, hopefully he dies. That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe I can, like, set it up like that. We'll, we'll see. So, yeah, guys, that, that's what, uh, eh, that's all I want to talk about with Ranger so far. I want to try more classes. I'm probably going to start making other classes and whatnot, but I just really... The thing is about this game is that you can't multi-class. Like, once you choose a class, you can't switch classes. And I really don't want... I don't want to spend money on, like, every single fucking class, guys. It's just so stupid. But I really... I am probably going to try out all the classes eventually. Just to see what works and whatnot. So, yeah, guys. I have to get going now. Peace.